You've given hints. What, what do you think you've revealed? That I am gay. Before Lil Nas X's social media numbers would explode with over 2 million on Twitter and 3 million on Instagram, and he would break the internet announcing on the last day of Pride that he was gay. He was so taken by the love he felt from the crowd that he went backstage, didn't tell anybody, and then tweeted out um, a somewhat oblique series of references to the fact that he might be gay. Before Lil Nas X would receive five nominations for the 2019 Teen Choice Awards, including Breakout Artist and Choice R&B and Hip Hop Song. Before Old Town Road would become the number one song in the world, currently going for 14 weeks straight, and the music video would recruit some heavy hitters, including Rico Nasty, Vin Staples, Diplo, Chris Rock, Haha ha Davids, and more. Before Lil Nas X was shut down any talks about being a one-hit wonder, when he dropped his follow-up single, Panini, and then he would go on to hook up with the legend himself, Gordon Ramsay, for a Panini remix. Don't be a meanie. Okay, technically they just made a Panini together, but you know, they remixed the sandwich. Not a sponsorship, just thirsty. Now the last half of this year has been a whirlwind ride for Lil Nas X that could otherwise only be scripted for some kind of movie. He went from making songs in his bedroom with just over $5 in his bank account, working minimum wage jobs, to having the number one song in the world and performing in front of hundreds of thousands of people of all ages and sizes, all of which were singing every word to his song. It makes sense now knowing that he used to sit and study how to go viral on the internet and use it as a marketing tool. Now more recently, Lil Nas, he came out as gay on the last day of Pride Month, and I have a feeling the brave move will inspire many kids who are feeling, well, a similar way. And I'm also, I feel like, opening doors for more people who... Well, yeah, it's important, you know, isn't it? Because you are you are now a role model for so many. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say how happy we are for him at this channel. And, uh, well, he's living his truth, and we're proud of him. Also, his success, it's pretty incredible. Now he's also breaking down barriers and getting a lot of love that was previously unexpected from both the world of country and hip hop. Don't change on that man. Don't change on that man, cause that's who he is. I want y'all to be right beside me, listening to Take My Horse, Ride That Dick Till You Can't No More. I want you listening to that same song while I'm listening to that. Now of course we did it before they were famous on Lil Nas X, right as Old Town Road was blowing up, and he actually answered some of our questions via email. Now I got a feeling his inbox is a little crowded nowadays, but of course there's been a ton of new info to update you guys on, and you know, that's what we do here. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden here with you for an updated before they are famous on Lil Nas X. Now we got tons of new information, and truthfully, I've never seen someone finesse the entertainment industry quite as flawlessly as Lil Nas X. I mean, he ascended the ladder to the top, and he did it in expert fashion. And, uh, well, I feel like he's gonna be around for a while. Now, he'll definitely make my list as one of the most famous people of 2019. He'll probably nab the number one spot. Now, as we do here, I've got a trivia question for you guys that I'll answer a little later in this video. Which band was sampled on Old Town Road? Place your guesses down below. Now, let's get into this video. Before they were famous. Before they were famous. Before they were famous about. <gasps> that was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Look, Cruddy, cool. you did a great job. Michael is never wrong. So, damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Bro! Lil Nas X was born Montero Lamar Hill on April 9th, 1999 in Grady Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. Now Nas, he comes from a big family with six brothers, five of them biological, and four sisters, two of them biological. Now he says that growing up around so many siblings, they would fight all the time. At around the age of six, his parents, they split up, and Lil Montero, well, he was staying with his mom and his grandmother in the Bankhead Courts public housing complex in Atlanta. Now I looked up this area on YouTube, and it appears to have like uh, fallen on some hard times, or it's abandoned. Take a look. <laughs> City wants to get these projects down with the quickness. At around the age of 10, well, his dad, he won custody through what he referred to as a court battle. And Lil Nas X, well, he moved to Estelle, Georgia to live with his dad. At around the age of 14, he moved to Lithia Springs, Georgia, a small community with a population of around 15,000. Now Lil Nas, he told us that he lost contact with his mother shortly afterwards, and he still doesn't know what she's doing today. But I have a feeling that, uh, well, she knows exactly what he's doing. She'll be looking for that rent money. I don't know. Now it was Lil Nas's father who inspired him to begin making music. Now his dad was a warehouse worker, but also a gospel singer with a beautiful voice, and growing up around that, well, Lil Nas, he was always interested in music. 
Now in school he was academically gifted and was advanced in all of his classes, but math, it was his favorite. Luckily he gets to put that to use now, adding up all them streaming numbers. We've actually done his The Rich Life, the kid is earning bank. He attended Alfred Bollock Elementary School, Lindsay Middle School, and Pebble Brook High, where he graduated at the top of his class. But before rapping on tracks, he was rapping burritos. He worked at Taco Bell. He also worked jobs at Six Flags and Zaxby's, all within the span of a year so that he could put the money back into his music. Now he says that it wasn't just his dad's musical abilities that inspired him, but the fact that he helped pay for Nas's phone bill which was likely pretty high based on the amount of tweets and Instagram posts he was firing out at the time. Now Lil Nas X, he has since stated, By paying my phone bills, he allowed me to promote my music heavier on the internet through my Twitter account. My Twitter mutuals helped me out a lot too. Now in his spare time, Lil Nas, he also loved watching cartoons, but before rapping, well, he loved to play instruments. He used to play the drums and the trumpet before shifting his focus into writing songs. Now coming up with his rap name, he actually told us. It was originally Lil Nas just to be ironic because every new rapper's name has Lil Lil. Kinda got stuck with the Lil after building a small fan base. Added the X later on, standing for the amount of years until I feel like I will be considered a legend. Now in terms of his rap covers, well it all happened pretty fast. And Lil Nas, he's described it as such. Honestly, I got bored last year and made a rap song. People liked it, I kept making them. But I didn't start taking music seriously until about my fifth song. His first ever online song was called Shame and his first mixtape was called Nazarati. Now Lil Nas, he put out close to 20 songs online before his big breakout hit with Old Town Road. But Lil Nas X was no stranger to the internet. He used to sit and study how to go viral and how to use the internet as a marketing tool. In fact, there have been many rumors swirling around the internet that Lil Nas himself had already gone viral pre-OTR. But, you know, for different reasons, not because of music. Now, the internet recently found an old Nicki Minaj fan account called Nas Mirage that was allegedly run by Lil Nas. Now, the account was running since October of 2014 and became a pretty large page, growing to over 100,000 Twitter followers. Now, on here, he would post memes, viral tweet threads, and choose your own adventure games. And, you know, it was all based around Nicki Minaj. Now, the Nas Minaj account, it was suspended for violating Twitter terms. From there, he created a new account called Nas Mirai, and uh, basically, he subbed out the J for an I, which is like what Nicki Minaj did, but the other way. You know what I mean? Anyway, on here, he had some pretty viral tweets. This one, it received close to 100,000 retweets. Not bad. Then there was this one, and that received 30,000 retweets. Goddamn. I'm happy with, like, 10 likes on Twitter. Never got going on there. <sighs> now the owner of this account was even interviewed by Buzzfeed after one of the memes went viral. But then it was eventually suspended for tweet decking. Now we're still not 100% sure if this is Lil Nas's account, but the dots seem to line up perfectly. He's denied it in some online publications, but people were able to trace these posts to an existing Twitter page, and uh, well that now is Lil Nas X's Twitter. So I think the cat's out of the bag. Now either way, Lil Nas, he knew how to game the internet. Now after high school, Lil Nas, he decided to attend college, getting accepted into West Georgia University. He attended classes for eight months, but he dropped out to pursue his music career full time. Although at the time, well, he wasn't exactly sure how he was gonna make it happen. Now he would sit and dream about his success each and every night. Now his dad, he wasn't very pleased with Lil Nas' decision to drop out of college, stating that there are a million rappers in the industry and the chance of making it are one in a million. And while this is true, well, Lil Nas, he felt like he could be one in a million. Now he told us that he honestly never had a big inspiration, but that the internet as a whole, well it inspired him. Besides Nicki Minaj fandom of Lil Nas, he spent his nights promoting his songs on Twitter and making memes with his music in the background. And I gotta be honest with you, the guy's a pretty incredible meme maker. Now at first, nothing was working. He told Time Magazine in an interview that he would do this. Probably get three hours of sleep staying up on the internet trying to promote my music at my sister's house before coming back home. I would sleep on the floor and I didn't want to come back home because I knew my parents would be mad at me. Now at the time, his sister had just about had enough of Lil Nas and his music dreams and he knew that if something didn't happen soon, then he would have to rethink his strategy. Life was me moving from sibling to sibling house, promoting my music like through Twitter, 
and you know, barely get any, you know, reaction out of anything. Then one day, Nas, he stumbled across a beat on YouTube that sounded sort of like a country song with trap drums over top. So he bought the beat from Young Keo's online beat store for $30. Now, uh, well, yeah, that's a steal. And the unique nature of the song, well, it turned out to become Old Town Road. And uh, well, it began to catch on fire on TikTok of all places. Now, there were thousands of memes being made and people would transform into cowboys when the beat dropped. And uh, then they'd get the horses in the back. Yeah, that actually became a hashtag and it was trending everywhere. On December 4, 2018, Lil Nas X, he posted a snippet of the song, now titled Old Town Road, onto his Instagram. And people started to get curious about what sounded like a country trap song. A week later, Nas released the official song onto his Instagram using the app Triller with the caption that read, Yeehaw! Videos also using the hashtag Yeehaw with the song playing in the background, well, they began popping up on TikTok and Twitter, bringing in millions of views. Then Justin Bieber, he posted a screenshot of the song, and it took things to a whole nada level. The song was streamed so much that it landed at number 19 on the Billboard Hot Country charts, and it seemed like he was set for superstardom. But Billboard, they removed the song from the country charts, claiming that it didn't embrace enough elements of today's country music. Then the internet came to Lil Nas's defense, and the song was trending on Twitter a day later. But riding in on a horse came Billy Ray Cyrus with a fresh cowboy hat, and he reached out to Lil Nas about hopping on the remix. Town Road was all of me. It was my past, present, and future. It had everything that I'd you know, been raised on my whole life. But banjo, and bluegrass, and solid country hook. The remix was released onto YouTube and streaming services on April 4th, and the audio was close to 300 million views at the time of this recording. Now the song, it ended up going number one in the world and becoming one of the most viral sensations that, well, we've seen in recent times. It's like Rebecca Black, just the other way around. Now Lil Nas, he signed a deal with Columbia, and most recently, well, he released his debut studio, EP7. Now this includes the songs Panini and Rodeo with Cardi B. Now in our original conversation with Nas, well, he said he wanted this. To just keep making the music I feel like making, never want to be put in a box, get into acting, modeling, and some other things. And he did just that, because the EP, it was charting on the country, the hip hop, and the rock charts. And on the final song, Closure, well, he hinted at his announcement that would later come on Twitter. No more denying this guy. Well, we have a feeling he's going to be here for a long time. He's a great role model for anyone. Country, hip hop, rock, white, black, gay or straight, kid's a star. Proud of him. Also, you know, he got uh, nine inch nails. They did a sample on Old Town Road. I mean, he's got it all figured out. And it's crazy. I didn't even know it was a nine inch nails sample. I mean, I'm a fan of them too. So it's like, but it's like, I guess I didn't peep that part because I'm more of like a casual. Nine Inch Nails fans? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, their bigger songs yeah, that yeah. everybody knows. My God. And he was in my DMs. Small world. He was probably a fan of before they were famous. Isn't that crazy? All right, guys, that's all we got for you in this video. We answered your question from off the top. Who got it right? I owe you guys a Pepsi, which I was drinking earlier in this video. Anyways, guys, uh, my name is Michael McCrud, and you know what we do here. Be sure to subscribe, show us all your support. You can become a channel member. We'd appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in another video. Go! Actually, the last time we made one of these, Jared, he sang, I got, I can't even do it. He sang a lyric and the video got claimed. Can you believe that?